Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you eight different tips for ranking your YouTube videos, even though there's a lot more competition these days. Um, there's 23 million YouTube channels, according to Social Blade back in 2018. Of course, there's going to be a lot more now, and more and more people are trying to start YouTube channels because it's not a real hard thing to do. But as far as ranking videos, the first thing I would recommend you do is you try to have a higher average watch time on your video than the competition. So one thing you can do to improve this is make your videos longer, make them more engaging, and of course, deliver on a quality product. Have good audio, have good visuals, and make it entertaining to watch, even though it may be even an educational video. So like if you type in internet marketing as an example, you'll notice a lot of the top search results are longer videos. Typically, they might be 10 minutes or longer, with a few exceptions like this one that's four minutes. But you see most of these are going to be longer videos. And if you have shorter videos, it can work very well too, but you have to try to get people all the way to that end screen, all the way to the very end. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to compete with longer videos that are high quality as well. So try to create longer videos. Number two, another thing you can do is try to focus on having a higher click-through rate than your competition. So click-through rate is basically going to come down to two things, your thumbnail and your title. How good is your title? It has to contain keywords, obviously, but you also want it to make it intriguing to people and make them interested in clicking and seeing what the video is about. The thumbnail needs to complement that. You don't want to lead people on, but you still have to create intrigue with the thumbnail. Typically, the best type of thumbnail is not what I did in this old video here that I did three years ago, but something like this top result where you have a person who is kind of has a close up of them who's in the video, and then you have big letters. Uh, you might want to even go with a little bit less text and make it larger so people on their mobile devices can see it easier. But those are a few things you can do. One free tool for this, you can check out canva.com. They have a lot of free templates you can use. They have infographics, logos, and all that stuff, but you can make YouTube thumbnails that are optimized for YouTube and use templates. All you do is you edit the templates a little bit and then you can use them for your videos like these to hopefully get more clicks from the same amount of traffic. So you want more clicks for the same amount of traffic for your videos than your competition that will help drive rankings and get you more views. Number three, you want to go after long tail keywords without splitting up your audience. So what I mean by splitting up your audience, basically you have an audience, of course, that is what you've been building on YouTube, your subscribers. Now what you don't want to do is split them up into you know things based on like, hey, you do a video based on gender. So you, then only maybe like half of them watch it. Or you split it into, you know, people who are gamers but maybe your channel is about a general audience so only a small fraction of them might be gamers or you split it up into people who are parents you know maybe you are some kind of channel about self-help or something but you do one just about parenting well only maybe a few of them are going to be parents because a lot of the people on youtube are you know teenagers and stuff. So as far as splitting up your subscribers, you don't really want to do that on most of your videos. You might do a few here and there to help uh, specific groups, but as far as growing and getting the maximum amount of watch time and views for your videos, you don't want to get too specific as far as, you know, dividing up your audience into groups with each video. Each video should hopefully be appealing to the majority of your subscribers. So for instance, internet marketing, if I pressed space, you see more things that come up. Now you could do for beginners, how many of your audience uh, members would be beginners. Now if you did strategies, strategies does not divide up your audience. So you could do strategies. 
Then you could go strategies 2019. That doesn't divide up your audience at all. So you you can kind of see how you you go after longer tail keywords, but you're not going like internet marketing for moms or you know something like that that would divide up your audience and only a small percentage of them would actually watch it because the algorithm promotes it to subscribers first, then it promotes it to more people, a more general audience as there is more intrigue shown to the video. So here's an example of what it looks like when you divide up your audience. So I have a video that actually is possibly going to do very well. And it was a work from home video about uh, jobs you can get working from home for Canadians. Now I have a audience of about 220 or 225,000 subscribers on my other channel. And basically I share all sorts of tips for making money online. So the thing is, most of my audience is not from Canada. So you can see right here that I had a very slow start to this video. I only had a few hundred views the first few days. Now it's starting to take off at the end because it's ranking and search results. And you'll notice that most of this is from YouTube search. But the thing is, there's a good chance that you won't have enough search or you might do something that has too much competition for you to rank later on if you don't get that initial boost youtube might not ever promote your video much or move it up in the rankings so you can try to do stuff like this where you can rank for something very niche that's outside of your normal audience um, demographic but it might not do too well especially for like even the first few months now here's an example of one that did well right off the bat and is continuing to do fairly well. So this is a video that does not divide up my audience. It's five fully remote work from home companies. I'm not having anything in that title that narrows down my audience because I have a general audience of people who are looking to make money online. I'm not saying that they have to be in a certain country or be a certain gender or be a parent or anything like that. So. What it did, and because it's also a fairly good subject for that audience, it took off right away and it got above average results all the way through, you know, a few months. So as far as an example of that and going and dividing up your audience with the video versus doing something your most of your audience would enjoy and using keywords along with that, that's kind of an example of how that can work out. Number four, what you might want to do is have longer videos. You might want to go after longer videos because of the total watch time. Now, if you have 30% on average that finish your video and you make a longer video and you still get about the same percentage, then you are increasing your watch time. You are helping YouTube by keeping people on YouTube, which is their ultimate goal is to sell ads, sell their products, get people on YouTube TV and all that stuff. They don't want people to leave YouTube. So if you help people stay on YouTube, they will promote your videos more with the algorithm. So longer videos can help as long as you cut out the fluff. You have a lot of good stuff in them. And one way you can do that is say to make a list video. So like, uh, like for instance, this video I ranked for internet marketing has 13 tips for massive traffic. So people know what they're getting. They know to kind of stick around for the 13 tips. Otherwise, if you just say internet marketing for beginners and you don't tell them how many tips are on there, they might go through like one or two tips and they might be like, well, I don't know how many are left. I'm just going to leave. And then you can also try short videos. But the thing about short videos is you're going to probably have to get them to watch more than one to get the same effect as one good long video. And it's hard to rank when you're doing a bunch of short videos, especially for educational content. Now, if you're doing more entertainment based and you have something that people might watch over and over again, it can work very well. But if you're doing educational based content and not entertainment based, you might want to stick with longer videos that have more information, that have a lot of value in them. And then you are more likely to rank because of the higher watch time that you are getting versus the other videos of that same subject. So when it comes to long videos, one thing I wanted to show you was my own results so that you can kind of get an idea of, of 
what actually has worked for me. And for my other channel, my main channel, which is just Justin Bryant, I have a lot of make money online videos and the top videos that got the most views were all over 10 minutes long. So I've done a lot of view, I've done a lot of videos here in the past year or so as kind of an experiment with shorter videos. But for the most part, you get about the same watch percentage, maybe a little bit higher on shorter videos. But in many cases, the shorter videos never rank, whereas the longer videos do. And when they rank, you can make money off of them for years and basically make passive income off of them. So here are my top four or five videos here. 18 and a half minutes long, 11 minutes long, 19 minutes, 21 minutes, and 18 and a half minutes long. So those kind of show you right there, and these all kind of ranked and did very well in search results. 2.3 million, 1 million, 751,000 views, 705, and then 700,000 views. All of those did very well as longer videos that had a lot of quality uh, information in them. Even some of them weren't even that great visually or audio-wise, but they still did well because they had a high concentration of useful information for what the people were looking for when they searched that term and they were longer videos so they got longer average watch time than probably a lot of my competition therefore it ranked above them okay number five another thing you might that kind of goes off of the long video tip that i gave you is you want to have a higher concentration of value than your competitors so basically you might have a competitor over here that has you know you know let's say 10 tips and they have a 10 minute video but if you can create a let's say you create a video that is you know 12 tips in 10 minutes and you have a really good thumbnail just like they do and you are about the same amount of time and everything you will probably get more people choosing your video because unless they already know and like and trust the other person more than you which hopefully is not the case then they will probably go with the one that makes more sense as far as getting the most value for their time so if you can create more value for their time but still do longer videos that are 10 minutes or longer you will probably rank your video much better so you if you can create higher concentration of value or entertainment in your long videos that's how you get really high watch time and you also increase your ctr Okay, which is your click-through rate, which leads to more views. Okay, so that's another thing you want to do. Have a higher concentration, not just a longer video that has a lot of filler in it. Cut out as much filler as you can and just do more valuable content. Okay, number six, another thing you might want to do, especially for getting that traction in the first few days for your video and getting a lot of initial views so that you can... Uh, make it go viral then you want to try and keep people on YouTube by not leading people to links in every video now I know you have videos that you're trying to sell services or products for your company and I get that I do the same thing but if you can try to create some kind of content that's really good at keeping people on YouTube keeps them watching and going to more and more videos without leaving YouTube at all so to do that and to benefit YouTube while also benefiting yourself by doing this, what you can do is basically focus on, you know, content like you see on the trending page. So look at the trending page and that will usually have a lot of clues. You'll see something like news videos, which you don't need a link. You don't need a link to see news. Number two, you might see music videos. These are usually going to go uh, pretty viral and everything. So music, is there any reason to leave that? No, because you're probably not going to just go to iTunes anymore. You can just get the music on your phone if you're going to download it with your Amazon Music or something. 
and or your Spotify or whatever. If you're watching a music video, you might watch another music video. You might discover a new artist and watch more than one. Another thing you'll see on the trending page usually is something like comedy related stuff. You might even see like movie trailers or something like that. So as far as different stuff that you see that's constantly trending, getting millions of views, a lot of times it has to do with things that do not get people to leave YouTube. So you look at the trending page, what do you have here? You have a movie review, there's no reason to leave that. You have a music video, no reason to leave YouTube. You have news, no reason to leave YouTube. You have The Ellen Show, no reason to leave YouTube. A lot of the stuff is entertainment based or news based or something that does not make people leave YouTube. They are not promoting links to stuff. Although they have links, a lot of these people are going to watch and not click on the link because the main value is in the entertainment or the value of the education or whatever that's in the video. So try to create videos that you don't have to use links for to be more likely to keep people on YouTube and to be more likely to get promoted by the algorithm. So number seven, another thing you might want to do is chop off the end of your videos, which basically means don't do too much of a conclusion on your videos. Don't be like, okay, follow me here, follow me there, click like, do the notification button and all of that, and do that for like a whole minute. If you do that, people will always leave before the end of the video and then they'll be less likely to click your end screen if you have one which you should um, for your next video what you want people to do is watch your video for a long time all the way to the end and then click the next video and repeat the process over and over and over that helps youtube it helps you rank and the algorithm will love you but if you have a long conclusion on your videos people will just leave before you even get there as soon as you deliver the value that they clicked on the video for they will leave so try to keep your conclusion very short if you even have one a lot of people are starting to experiment with just like these abrupt really quick endings that people don't even see coming so you want people to watch not only long videos and watch them all the way through, but you want them to go to the next video and the next one and the next one after that. So for instance, this one, of course, didn't get a very great uh, percentage, but it's a, it's a long video, it's 18 minutes long. Uh, it's an older video, but I could have probably cut off, you know, the last minute or so in the conclusion and therefore would have kept maybe five to 10% more of the people at the end to finish the video. So if you cut that end off of your videos, in many cases, you will do better because people were not gonna watch that anyway, but they might be more likely to watch your next video now. So last but not least, the video that keeps people on YouTube the longest will usually win. However you do that. Now, you obviously have to get it clicked on first by having a good title and a thumbnail that is very appealing for the search term, but you also need to deliver a video that has a lot of quality content and keeps people on YouTube and doesn't get them to leave by clicking a link or by boring them. Um, and you want people to stay engaged with your video, to watch the whole thing, go to the next one and the next one. So pretty much the longer the YouTube session is when people watch your videos compared to your competition equals you winning the top spots in search results. So just keep that in mind. Just try and have longer videos, higher concentration of content, more value than your competitors, and also get rid of, get rid of those long conclusions, get rid of those crappy thumbnails, even I could work on my thumbnails a little bit. I'm guilty of this as well. That's why I've been working with this green screen. But check these things. Make sure that you are applying all of these and you should be able to rank your videos much easier.